They call her Gorgatha, a legendary creature with unparalleled intelligence, said to stalk her prey for weeks at a time, lurking in the shadows, watching and waiting for the perfect time to strike. This creature is unlike anything you've seen before, able to adapt to any situation and come back stronger. Oh no, please run or hide. It doesn't matter. She will find you. And once she sets her eyes on you, it's already too late. Yo, she's right there. She's right there. I'm her next victim, and I will do everything I can to stay alive. Yo, let's do this, shall we? Are you ready for an adventure today? I thought so. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many worlds I went through just to get a seed that spawned me in a forest. Cause wood is something I'm gonna need for the whole playthrough. What is that? Well, looks like I got a place to stay the night, boys. Oh, brother. Of course there would be zombies already. I'ma just steal the loot and leave. Gosh, look at these chests. Okay, this is it. This is definitely the run. Already got full iron twos, baby. I continued going around collecting iron and coal, which are two things that are vital for survival in this world. You see those words? Those 12 words determine in five seconds whether you live or whether you die. Cause that is the Groomon. Every time you find yourself in a pitch black cave or heck, even just in water without a light source at the ready, you are given five seconds to get to safety or a creature will spawn and bite your face off. Five measly seconds that decide whether you live or whether you get mauled to death by a giant black bear. I'm not even kidding. Okay, no more joking around because that night I faced one of the most suspenseful moments of my short gaming career. Oh no. Oh no, I'm out of sprint and it's turning nighttime. Okay, looks like I'm just gonna have to spend the night in this cave. Block this up, block this up, block this up. Okay, you hear that? Yeah, that's the sound of 20 zombies with acute awareness. These guys could smell me for miles and they were all just three blocks above my head. Okay, 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 okay. Um, uh, I, I need some torches before the furnaces go out. Wait, un wait, what? Unlit torch? Wait. Wait, I can't light it. I, I can't light the torch. Uh, what am I supposed to do? The furnaces are almost out. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The furnaces are almost out. I need more things to smell or I'm dead. Uh, oh my goodness, dude. I can't go far without dying to the groove. I'm, I'm going to have to risk it. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, there's nothing. Oh, iron! Oh, right, all right, okay, that, that'll give us some more time. Uh, um, bro, what can I do? I have nothing. I literally have nothing. I'm going deeper in the cave. I'm just I'm going deeper. I'm going deeper. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, yes? I think we're good. Never mind. Of course there's zombies down here. <laughs> That's my luck. All right. All right. Okay, things are starting to look up. I got full iron now. Wait. No. Oh, no. Hang on. I choked. No, I actually threw. Dang it. No. I don't, I don't have anything to smell. I don't have anything to smell other than my wood. Bro. No. Ugh. And they keep coming up. I I literally died. I'm I'm dead. I'm I'm the fuel is going to run out and I'll have no more light. I'm I'm dead. What what am I supposed to do? Wait. Oh my god. Wait. Yes. Yes. Please, yes! Oh my goodness, that was close. I literally had that gravel for the longest time, too. Oh, I'm good. Oh my goodness, I think we're good. Man, I'm still struggling on food, though. 
With my trusty flint and steel, I ventured deeper into the cave and even found a mine shaft. Yo, these cobwebs are gonna come in handy in the future. I don't know why I just said that since I literally didn't use them once for the entire playthrough. I don't wanna bore you with all the mining I did since you've seen that before a million times. So let's just speed through it. <laughs> yes, I just made that sound effect myself. I'm weird, okay? Don't judge me. Ah, uh, daylight! I'm saved! Oh, well. Uh, points for trying, I guess. Okay, I need food bad. Like, real bad. Uh, hi there. Don't mind me, just walking by. Now, little did I know, that decision changed the course of the whole playthrough. By keeping those two parasites alive, I struck the world into a fate worse than death. I really didn't. It did still happen even if I did kill those parasites. I just like to make things more dramatic. And while we're on topic, parasites? The mod that infests your world with a hive mind that grows stronger for every mob that it devours, creating unkillable beasts that continue massacring even more mobs, ultimately plunging the entire planet in a dystopian wasteland and starting the endless cycle of permanent deaths to everything that's not a parasite. Yeah, that mod. I can't believe I'm trying to survive 100 days in this world. I explored for a bit, getting some food so I can regenerate, when these guys started shooting me. How rude. I butchered more animals and even crafted some golden apples from the gold I mined earlier. Okay, time to leave this cave. Yo, they shoot through shields? Bro. Bro. How did I almost die there? It's so dark out, oh my goodness. No, oh, at least there's a house here. Sweet. I went into the basement and discovered that this house was actually a dungeon. Yeah, I'm not ready for that yet. Aw, hello sheep. I'ma name you Carla. Yo, <laughs> she came right in. Dang, I'm feeling a connection already. <laughs> you and me, Carla, BFFs for life. Why am I talking to a sheep? It's day four, just brutally murdering some pigs over here, as well as some sheep. I checked though, unrelated to Carla. So it's fine. Don't worry about it. And by the way, if there's ever just a clip without me talking that kind of feels out of place, I may have missed something. Like, I don't know. The creature stalking me right now? I found another zombie house today. I don't know if this loot will be useful, but I'm stealing it anyways. Oh my goodness, it's already nighttime? Where did the daylight go? What was that sound? This is so eerie. Wait. Oh my gosh! That's her! That's literally her! Day four, are you kidding me? Get out, get out, get out, get out! Run, run! I can't see anything behind me! Just block it shut! Carla! Literally here on day four. Wow. It's just too dark to see anything. Wait, did you see that? Okay, just to be safe, I'm blocking this off. Um, they broke my house. Bruh, they're getting in. Yo, what just happened? The house is now back to normal. It's even blocked off. Oh my, oh my goodness. I, I'm just going up. Sorry, Carla. Dude, that scared me. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Carla, <laughs> do you know what happened? Why am I talking to a sheep? I explored the skyscrapers to the east. North? I, I don't know what direction. And I found a name tag. That's good. Oh my. I think I just saw it. It's right over there. I went in one of the skyscrapers and found some bookshelves, as well as just realizing that I have over a stack of iron already. When did that happen? But I then made the costly mistake of exploring the forest as night was approaching. Hello. Uh, what? Okay, uh, th that's my cue to leave. I I'm getting out of here. This is actually so dangerous being out here at night. What am I doing? Ah! Run! Run! She's after me! You save me, Village! You save me! 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys don't even realize the pain that I'm going through. I hate this so much. It's now day seven. This village place is like perfect. We got plenty of resources. There's skyscrapers right over there. And we have some friends. Hello, my guy. You ready for the next 93 days of this brutal world? Yeah, I didn't think so. I got a ton of food from the villagers chests, as well as some of the most useful items in the entire playthrough. The backpack. These things are crazy. You got more storage than a shulker box, and you can hold up to 10 buckets of liquid, and you can craft inside the UI. Literally a lifesaver. Oh yeah, and I found this waystone, which I end up forgetting about and never using. I also found some much needed loot in the city that was right next to the village but didn't realize that night was approaching fast. Oh boy, oh boy, that's not good. I'm literally surrounded. Dude, they just keep coming. There's so many, oh my gosh. Wait, I think, I think I see her. She's just staring at me. Oh, and now she's gone. All right, that's how we deal with those. Oh no, wait, something stole my lava. Dude, I can't see anything. I'm, I'm making a run for it. Please. Please. No, 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 no. Dude. Two hearts. Ugh. <sighs> The next day, I made an iron bow and then explored some more. I jumped into this ravine for some reason and heard some pretty disturbing sounds. What was that? Hello? Okay, cool. When did this cave become so intense? Oh my goodness, do you hear that? Oh wait, nice! It's one of those dungeons. These always have tons of great loot, but they are pretty hard dungeons, so I gotta be careful. Which was easier said than done. I got close to dying more times than I'd like to admit. I stopped recording for a bit, and then I killed the zombie with a diamond chest plate. I burned it. Yeah, it, I, it the stupidest decision I made in the entire 100 days. I, I burned the chest plate so that it wouldn't look sus to everybody watching. Like, hey guys, look what I found off camera. Totally legit, don't question it. So I burned it. <sighs> I'm already regretting that decision. Also, did you know that there are diamond blocks that spawn in these dungeons? No joke. Also, a witch poisoned me on day nine, as you can see, and I was pretty close to dying there too. Had to pop a gapple for that one. Sheesh. Oh no, look at this. The parasites are spreading. That's not a good sign. Most of the torches were extinguished, which happens in this mod pack, and it definitely added to the eeriness of the village. Oh no, she's watching me. That may be the creepiest thing I've ever seen. She's just there. And she teleported. Great. Everything's quiet. Why is it quiet? That's not good. That's never a good sign. Back in your house, it's not safe. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's gone. The creature took it. He took the villager. I'm so dead. What am I supposed to do against that? <gasps> what was that noise? Okay, this may be the stupidest thing I can do. Going towards the noise in a horror mod. Why am I doing that? Okay, I'm going to bed. I don't care. I think now is a good time to tell you everything I know about this mysterious cryptid. For those of you who aren't experts in the realm of cryptozoology like I am, I literally had to look up that term. A cryptid is simply a creature such as like Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster. Gorgatha is also one of these legendary creatures. No more jokes. This is serious now. You pay attention. Not much is known about this creature. 
But what is known about her should frighten any mortal man. They say she is not of this world, residing in a completely different dimension from our own. Nobody has ever really seen her and lived to tell the tale. And the reason goes deeper than you think. Gorgatha has the ability to transform herself into something completely different. One minute she could be a pig, and then the next minute she's an eight foot tall ravenous beast thirsting for human flesh. That's not even the scariest part. The locals have told me that we don't even know what she's truly capable of. It's a mystery to humanity, and that terrifies me. She's cold, and she's calculated. Once she chooses her victim, she studies it, learning its behaviors and adapting to them. And as far as we know, she has a 100% kill rate. So how in the world am I going to survive 90 more days and defeat this creature? I have no idea. But maybe you can find out with me. Keep watching. I found this underground subway on day 10 and it goes on for miles. Definitely will be using this in the future at some point. I also found another backpack. Let's go. Day 11, I explored an abandoned city and panicked as it was turning dark again. I swear the nights are like twice as long as the day in this. While I was on my way back to my base, she found me. Yo, oh my gosh. She's right there. She's right there. Oh my, oh, <laughs> that's just a zombie. <gasps> no! No! Where is she? No! Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I have to go back there. Okay, where'd my minecart go? Go, go, go! 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 Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm safe. I made an enchant table on day 12, as well as trying to get some sharp four on my saber. Ah, come on. Time to go grind some XP for a bit. That's not even what I did. <laughs> I literally just messed around all day, but ah, that would cost me. Oh no, there's a blood moon tonight. That's not good. I need to fortify my base. Oh gosh, it started. I can hear them. Blood moons are literally the worst. They spawn like hundreds of mobs around you. Your only hope is to stay inside. It's dumb. Why did I add this mod? It seems like it's one thing after the other. If it's not Gargatha, then it's zombies, and then it's parasites. My goodness. Dude, how did you even get up here? What is that? What is that? Dude. Dude. This is day 13. What is day 90 gonna look like? I then proceeded to make one of the dumbest mistakes of the entire run. Oh yeah? How do you guys like lava? Yeah. Yeah. Get him. Stop it. Stop it. It's literally a wood house and I just set it on fire. What was I thinking? What? Oh no. No. No! Stop, 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 stop! No! This isn't good, this is my house! No! Bro, how can I be so stupid? Okay, that's it, I'm digging, I'm digging down, I'm waiting out the night. I can't deal with it. It's completely destroyed. How could I be so stupid? I literally placed lava on a wood house and expected it not to burn? Like what? These parasites are getting a little too strong because they've infected so many mobs. So I made these things called lures that reduce the strength of the parasites. And it's a point system. The higher the points, the more dangerous the creatures are. The lower the points, parasites don't spawn as powerful. These lures just lower the points, if that makes any sense. My house is gone. It's turning dark, and this night was another blood moon. How is this even possible? Blood moons are only a 10% chance of happening, and I'm getting two in a row. Like, what is that? It's dumb. I'm just gonna sit up here. I'm just gonna sit up here and kill him with my lava, and we'll be all good, okay? Wait, what? What the heck? What the heck? Uh... Don't ask me, I, I don't even want to know what just happened. I watched as the chaos ensued below me. Parasites and zombies fight for their own survival. As something was coming. Wait, what is that? Bro, 
To this day, I don't actually know what that was. A different mysterious creature or a new ability from Gorgatha. Either way, this was when I realized how powerful she truly was. She silenced the night, and I'm sure she was just watching me from down below, contemplating on whether I was worth the wait or whether she could just kill me right there on the spot. Lucky for me, she still seems to be in her lurker stage, so I'm safe for now. But as the days go on, she will become more aggressive and really try to kill me. That's why my only course of action is to prepare. I killed all the parasites I could that day and pressed on, looking for a new stronghold to protect me. And I found one, just as night came. Okay, okay, it sounds bad right now, but I think we're in a good spot. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait. Wait a second, it's another blood moon? Since when? I didn't even realize. Okay, something has to be wrong with the configs or something. This is not normal. I checked the configs and it still said only 10% chance. So I don't know what was wrong with it, but it was spawning way too much. Three blood moons in a row is like one in a thousand chance of happening. That's crazy. Yo, what are you? Oh my goodness, how'd you all survive? There's like a lot of villagers here. <laughs> wow, I think that's a good sign. I think this is a good place to set up camp. Cool, found another zombie house today. That's good. I went to bed and the next day, I crafted the double barrel shotgun. This weapon was a game changer. Seriously, it shoots pretty fast and it deals a ton of damage. This was also the start of me making several different kinds of weapons throughout the run that saved my life on numerous occasions. Would highly recommend you guys get some guns if you're gonna survive against these parasites, cause if you don't, you're probably gonna die. Oh, just look at that. Ugh, so good. I went mining for a while and grabbed some copper ore that I can use to make shotgun ammo. Easy as cake. I was so confident with my weapon at this point that I went outside in the darkness. Surely Gorgatha hasn't tracked my trail yet. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yo, it's quiet tonight. Kind of a little too quiet. <gasps> oh, wait, was that her? Uh, I'm leaving. This shotgun was cool, but not a match for Gorgatha, obviously. The next day, I chopped down some trees, and as you can see, for some reason, my audio stopped working today. There's just no sound. And it's like this for a few days, so all the sound you're hearing is just edited in or something. I tamed some dogs, shot a zombie, made a wall, went inside, and wait, what are you doing in here, buddy? Wait, come back. What is he doing? I'm gonna call you Jeffrey. Well, Jeffrey disappeared somewhere, so I just rushed back to my house, like the scared little girl I was. Jeffrey? Is that you? No, I don't think that's him. It's so ominous out here. Gorgatha could be watching me and I wouldn't even notice. I finished the wall around the entire village the next day, which really did take the entire day. So I finally went down in that dungeon that I spent that one night in. It would be much cooler with sound, but here's the rundown. Almost died from the Gru a few times, opened a ton of chests, found a redstone room that I probably should have ransacked, almost died again. Learned how to make some ammo for my shotgun, and finally, my sound is back. Yay. Look at this. Isn't that so cool? I'm making ammo and new blocks with that. I did a lot of research on these mods, and to dumb things down a little bit, I wanted to make better weapons than just the double barrel shotgun. And in order to do that, you need several different blocks, such as the blast furnace, in order to make the materials for the new weapon. As for now, my sights were on the combat shotgun. It's just a way better version of what I already have, dealing more damage and holding more clips. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh! Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas. Oh, this is crazy. I'm starting to see a problem with my wall, though. There's not enough zombies trying to get in. <laughs> Yo! I'm untouchable right now. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I almost died. That did so much damage, what? That wolf almost one-shot me. I went upstairs and looked down my balcony. There, I saw her completely blowing up that zombie house like it was nothing. 
The message was clear. I had to get stronger if I hoped to survive the rest of the 100 days, because who knows what could happen next in a series like this. Somehow that night, a ton of zombies and parasites got into the village. What are these things even? They can jump like three blocks in the air. I lured some pigs into the village for future food and trapped them in a pit. Looking back on it, I should have covered up the pit. You never know if a parasite gets in and infects them until it's too late. And what do you know? That night, Gargatha showed herself again. What's that sound? <gasps> oh my gosh. She is being relentless. She hasn't started attacking me yet, which is a good thing. It's like almost as if she's playing with me right now. Playing with her food. I went back down into that dungeon and finally reached the bottom level where all the good loot is. Like enchanted armor and weapons, but at the cost of so much stronger loot, it's so much stronger mobs. What? Spawners actually break? I could just mine the spawners and then make a farm later. Oh, that's gonna be so good. The parasites had also found their way down here and were giving me a few chump scares. <gasps> you little... What the heck is that? I'm not even gonna ask. I found quite a bit of loot in the dungeon. Nothing too crazy, but making my way back to my house. And the night of 26 had something other than peace in store for me. Are you kidding me? A blood moon again? What is that? Oh, please don't find me. Just stay outside the walls. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This was actually really bad. It may not seem like it, but trust me, it was. You see, parasites don't only attack the player, but any other entity. It wants to infect everything, including zombies and villagers. The more creatures they infect, the more powerful they get. Meaning that every blood moon, the parasites get a massive power increase. And I have had the statistical improbability of getting six blood moons already, when I should have only gotten about two. I'm crafting more lures to decrease their points a little bit. Ooh! Ooh! What? They can teleport to me? Oh my gosh! Oh, I could have died right there. Something setting off fireworks. I spent the rest of the day researching new weapons and I settled on the AUG, an assault rifle. Oh yeah! Oh baby, I need to try this out. Oh my gosh. This thing is strong. I don't really want to waste my ammo, it's kind of expensive. I went down in the dungeon to really test it out more and ended up finding some diamonds. Hey, hey, Dude! Oh my goodness. 20 diamonds? Oh my goodness, this is great. Had to do some off-camera mining, boys. This cave is actually really good, though. That skeleton really thought he could sneak up on a wizard. I don't think so. There's diamonds here. Multiple diamonds. Let's go. Oh man, I'm rich. I just wish we could. Yo! What? There's more of them. Oh my goodness. Looks like we're eating good tonight, boys. Okay, I don't know why I keep doing that. 41 diamonds. I am sure glad I found that fortune pickaxe. Oh my goodness. And we made it back to the surface. Ah. Oh. Sunlight feels so good. If, if I could actually uh, feel it in the game, you know. <sighs> yeah. I need more sunlight IRL for real. Look at that. We're rich. We're bathing in money. I can make full diamond and still have 17 diamonds left over. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my goodness. I want some good enchants though. Not wasting anything on like I'm breaking one. Oh yes. Prot three. Ooh. Prot four. Ooh. That's so good. Um, aqua affinity? Okay. Ah, uh, fire protection. Repellent four? What is that? Now, little did I know, but that enchantment ended up saving me so many times in the run, it's not even funny. It is so overpowered. Would highly recommend if you choose to infect your world with parasites. It has a high chance of teleporting any entity that hits you away. So whenever I got swarmed, most of the parasites or zombies or whatever I was attacking me just teleported away. Made life so much easier. I'm in a good spot right now. 11 golden apples, full enchanted diamond armor, some powerful weapons. I'm set. 
I am set for a while. I can relax. I even chose to combine a protection 4 helmet that I found in the dungeon to mine so I could have that instead of the fire protection. Almost full protection! Dude. I think I hear Gorgatha. If that's her. <gasps> Bro! What? She broke the lamppost. Dude. I hate those noises. Why would she even do that? Wait. That wasn't lit before. Ah, oh, there's a villager in there. What? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! I'm blocking this off. I think she can... I think she can open doors. How else could she have done that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait. I hear her. She's on the ceiling. No, 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 no. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! She came through the ceiling? Wait! Where are the blocks that were just there? I am freaking out right now. <gasps> she's there! Dude! And she's gone. This is just crazy. I hate this. I don't even know what to say at this point. The next day, I was definitely on edge from the night before. And there was this parasitic growth that was starting to take over the ground around this village. I don't know if this is good or bad, but usually when something's growing that it's not supposed to be there, it's a bad thing. I murdered a spider looking parasite with my new assault rifle, which just felt so right. I explored for most of the day and stumbled across this floating structure. Yo, that was weird timing. The rain just started falling. <gasps> no, please. I'm running. I, I can't deal with that right now. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, stay away. I'm going back home where it's safe. I crafted more traveler's backpacks, but I was far from being safe at my base because as fate would have it, there was another blood moon that night. Again? No. Oh my goodness. That is not good. I don't think I'm ready for another one. I don't even know if the villagers are gonna make it through another one either. Get inside. <laughs> Save yourself. Ugh. The parasites are getting so much stronger than I anticipated. Since they kill any entity to add to their overall strength, blood moons are far worse than just a typical zombie seed, since they are able to infect hundreds of more mobs than they would have otherwise. I don't like this. Things should have started by now. It just seems quiet. What? What is happening? Oh my gosh. She can do that? Bro, this is getting ridiculous. Okay, what's with the fire though? Oh, there she is. I got a pretty good look at her that time. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. There's so much lightning too. It's actually hurting my ears. I wonder if that's part of her abilities or if that's just the weather. I don't really know anything at this point. <gasps> I hear footsteps. I don't know how over all this noise, but I did. Oh my gosh. Did she come through the ceiling again? Please don't be up here. A villager! How did you even get up here? I don't know, and I don't care. You're here. <laughs> Whoa, you followed me. Jeffrey, is that you? I have no way of knowing, so I'm gonna assume you're Jeffrey, okay? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Hey, don't do that. <laughs> it's scary out there. Look at him. He's so scared. <laughs> I mean, I am too, but... I love this guy. One of the reasons why I wanted to be in a village is because villagers may just be the only bright spot you get in an otherwise dark world where everything is trying to eat you. And Jeffrey just proved that. Well, it is finally daytime. <sighs> Look at that destruction. Everything has been blown up. Whoa. And the parasite continues to grow, infesting my world. I had no idea how hard this parasite mod was. Like a true parasite, it is even infected my video, where half the time I'm just trying to survive against the parasites, not even the creature actively hunting me down. This is crazy. <laughs> Jeffrey, what are you doing out? No, you need to stay safe. Come on. Ooh. Okay, just a little more. Ooh. <laughs> That literally couldn't have gone better. 
Okay, stay. I'll be back. Oh, what is that? It was an oil spout. I, w I figured it would be good for something, so I took some. Just highlighting another great quality of the Traveler's backpack. It can hold 10 buckets of any fluid. Super convenient, am I right? The night of 33, I had to just power up. I could hear the shrieks and the cries of Gorgatha somewhere in that pitch black void of darkness. But hey, it's daytime now. I'm in a bamboo forest and I'm looking for a place to make a proper base. Here is as good a spot as any. I chopped down a huge chunk of trees, like, Probably too much. I was starting to get calls from the deforestation union telling me that I am on their blacklist now. That's how many trees I cut down. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I made a little tower so I could be safe for the night and slept there. The morning came and so did the danger. This is why I crafted the locator. Four compasses and boom! Should be working now. You can now know when he sees you. I think it's supposed to be a she, but whatever. <laughs> what the locator does is tell you if Gorgatha is in the vicinity or if she's just watching you from a distance. You'll know what I'm talking about. It also just disappears when you craft it, so it's not a physical item, but an external device. And let me just tell you, this thing may just be the most important item I ever crafted in this world. Without it, I would be a dead man. Its most important aspect is that it warns you if there's immediate danger with the creature. And I found this all out just this night. It's so quiet. I don't like that. Something always happens when it's this quiet. <gasps> He's watching you. Where? Warning! Oh no. <gasps> Danger? What? What's that mean? I can't see anything. I wouldn't even know if she was there without the locator. <sighs> At least she didn't attack me. I'm going to bed. One more thing about the locator. It has a three strike system. If it warns you three times that you're in danger, your only hope is to run. I needed to build my base and build it quickly. Otherwise, I would be a sitting duck in that forest. I traveled to a few of the scattered skyscrapers on the outskirts of the forest and dismantled one for its cyan terracotta as well as the quartz block on the road. Oh yes, uh, this is just so satisfying to me. Should I do it? No. <laughs> you thought I was gonna do it? <laughs> Not letting my intrusive thoughts conquer me today. I filled my backpacks with a ton of lava and then I tried to go to sleep, but I saw something in the distance. What is that? I guess it could be another oil spout. Hmm, I'll have to check that out tomorrow. I did not, in fact, check it out tomorrow. But I'll be the last one to admit that I kind of peed my pants a little when the locator went off. Oh, what? Where? Where is she? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Where is she? Where is she? Ah, oh, this is so not cool. Okay, that's it. If I die today, I am not starting over. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. Something about that locator just notifying you when she's watching and you not being able to see her is like the creepiest thing you can imagine. Also, for those seven of you special people who noticed that it said he's watching you instead of she's watching you, I know, okay? The configs on the locator were off. I fixed it, eventually. Simple modding error or complex multi-dimensional lore? Nah, it was just a mistake. <laughs> well, I got my enchanting set up now. XP boost? What is that even doing on a shovel? It should be on a sword. Oh my goodness. <sighs> the lava just burned my... <sighs> just burned my bookshelves. I think it was about time I built a perimeter for my base. On day... what is it? 38? <laughs> I forget. Well, I did end up doing that for the next day as well, because this was the night of 39, which I slept through, so... That's good! Well, it's about time I go to the nether, don't you think? On any other playthrough, I would have already been there, like, by day five. But hey, I'm struggling in this video, okay? Give me a little sympathy. This place, this modded HG double hockey sticks, really does fit that name well. I just entered, and I was already being shot by the Piglin Cartel. Hey, two can play at that game, amigo. Yeah, yuck. Ooh! Chill! Oh my gosh! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Well, I thought magma blocks were going to be useful. Spoiler, I kind of forgot about them for like the whole playthrough. It's fine! Don't worry about it. Wait, 
Was that her? No way that could be her. How could the locator not say anything? I don't know if that was her, but if it was, I'm impressed that I saw her in this stupid, ugly, particle, nether storm. Now these thorny roots did end up being useful. Ah, sorry, I keep on spoiling things. By the time I made it back to the overworld, it was already day 42? Like what? It did not feel like I spent that long in the nether. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just running around in circles. That was until something terrifying happened. What? Transforming? What does that even mean? No! Oh my gosh! That's her! I think I know what's happening. She's circling around her prey, and the sun is going down. That is not good. She's nocturnal after all. I can't see anything. Is it good? Is it safe? I think she's gone. Okay. Ooh! I didn't even see that there. I needed some sand and a lot of it, but I do not feel safe outside of my compound with that creature lurking around. I think I know what happened. Gorgatha is a shapeshifter. The way she looked before is not what she looks like now. And I don't know if her abilities change as well, but it would make total sense if they did. There's just so much I don't know about her. If she's killed and eaten hundreds of other humans before me in this world, who's to say she can't do the same with me? Wait, what is this? I hear witches. Oh, no, get me out of here. Not today, Junior. Anyway, I, I just think I'll always be in a losing battle. To know your enemy is to know yourself. And frankly, I know almost nothing about my enemy right now. So what does that mean for myself? Am I going to be the one to finally defeat this monster that has terrorized the people of this world for years? I don't know about that, but I do know this. I will not stop fighting for this life. I will survive by whatever means necessary. And the first step towards long-term survival was a lava mo around my compound. And honestly, it was worth the risk being outside at night because you know what they say, a man without a lava moat is a survivor. And that's a quote. Yeah, no one says that. I, I was trying to be profound and it was, ugh, it was, it just fell flat. Ouch, something's shooting me. Gosh, I can't catch a break. The next day I corralled some sheep inside my compound. Let's go. So now I'll be able to have infinite food inside of my own base. After that, I learned how to make these tile lamps, which are actually awesome. The reason being because of the changes with torches. Remember in the beginning when I was struggling just to survive the first night from the guru? Well, that's because one of the mods disables lit torches, meaning you have to light it with a flint and steel. And on top of that, torches are extinguished randomly after a while. But I have a workaround for that mechanic. These lamps, they aren't actually affected by it. So yeah, I lit up my entire base, making it mob proof for any night except for a blood moon. And it's finally coming together. I really just want to build a house in here eventually. Just a log cabin in the woods. Oh, that sounds so nice. With a 10 foot wall, of course. But what's the point of a house if there's no one to room with? You see where I'm going with this. I'm gonna get Jeffrey. I'm gonna bring Jeffrey to my compound. He's literally the only friend I've made in this whole world. Sorry, Carla, I forgot about you. Okay, remember when I said that this railway was going to be very useful at some point in the future? Yeah, I was referring to this. The Great Migration of Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is a terrible last name, why did I say that? No, but the Great Migration. Although my base is hundreds, if not thousands of blocks away, this railway travels underground almost directly to Jeffrey's village. My mission is to rail him from his town through this underground subway system and bring him home all in the daylight and without either of us dying. I'll remind you that Jeffrey's a villager. <sighs> yeah, this sounds easy enough. Okay, so as long as it takes me straight to where I think I'm going, it'll be fine. Never mind. Just as I say that, I just hit a wall. Oh, there it is. There's the village. And it's already almost nighttime though. I don't know how I'm gonna bring Jeffrey home in one day. I don't think it's possible. My base has to be over a thousand blocks away from here. Wait, what? My dog, he's still alive? Well, I'll be bringing two friends home then. If, if Jeffrey's still here. <sighs> Moment of truth. Jeffrey? <gasps> Jeffrey, yes! He's still alive. <laughs> okay, come on. I gotta get you in this boat. There we go. Yes! We have a Jeffrey. 
Oh shoot, I forgot. How am I gonna get him into the city? The railway is about 300 blocks away from the village. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll go to sleep really quick and figure it out tomorrow. All right, I figured the best way is to do this. Oh, oh, look at him go. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm happy with that. Let's uh, let's dismantle this railway and set up more on the other end. It seems that I forgot to record most of this process because I did not get Jeffrey home by nightfall. In fact, he was a sitting duck for any zombie or parasite that wanted to eat him. No, 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 no. This was so much further than I expected. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please still be there. Please still be there, please. Ooh, hoo, hoo. ooh, oh my gosh. I am not letting you out of my sight anymore. I will protect you, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Isn't it so cool that you can just put a boat in a minecart and it just goes? Ah, it makes things so much easier. Well, this is going pretty well, all things considered. <gasps> what? No! Jeffrey! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There's a zombie in the boat with him! Jeffrey! I'm coming! Don't worry! Everything's gonna be alright! I promise you I'd protect you, and I will! Please! Oh, it's starting to end. Ah, oh, that's the end. Please! Oh no! Get away! Oh my goodness, he almost killed you! Oh, he almost killed you. Let's get you back up there. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. Okay, let's go. I'm not leaving your side this time. Okay, okay. It, um, it looks clear. Whew. I finished the railway to my base and sent Jeffrey off. There were several times he probably should have died and all of it would have been for nothing. I think it was worth it though. Okay, last stretch. Yes! Yes! He's safe in my compound. All right, I think I can relax a little. I got Jeffrey to my base. That's transporting a villager over a thousand blocks away. And I managed to keep him alive in this world with all these parasites and zombies running around with guns. I'm proud of that. I did well. That was not easy, but we got her done. I still haven't quite finished the moat, so that is what I worked on day 50? What? I didn't even realize the significance of this day. I have survived for 50 days in a world where a deadly creature is hunting me down. I've had some close calls, but here I am, alive and well on day 50, with a compound and someone I can call friend. How much better can it be? Wait, something's wrong. Something's very wrong. It stopped raining, and it's dead quiet. No, that can only mean one thing. She's here. No, please, no! To be continued.